My name's Lee. I'm about to try my first unboxing video. I got this for myself at Christmas. You can see from the strange smiley face, it's from Amazon. The only reason I opened the box in advance was to see if the box was crushed and if the item was damaged. So I do this from time to time. I get myself a Christmas present. Here I am opening the box, opening it up and sliding it out, there we go. It's a CRKT pocket knife, I believe it's made in China, um, and the box is nice and sealed, so let me see if I can readily open this. Here's the little manual. Tells you how to operate it. How to care for your knife. Do keep the cutting edge sharp. Regularly clean the blade with mild soap and water. Keep a light coat of machine oil on the blade. Periodically lubricate the blade pivot area. Periodically check the tightness of the blade pivot area. Do not Use the blade to pry or turn screws or dig or scrape. Use the knife as a hammer. Do not put your tool away dirty and wet. So pretty nifty. I'll leave this out right here. And here's the actual knife. Um, something about CRKT. CRKT is a company based in Oregon, I think, and um, it was founded by two people that left the Kershaw Knife Company. So here is the knife, if you can see it well. I'll see if I can turn on a light, maybe it'll help. I'm outdoors right now. Oops, I forgot the <laughs> light switch is inside the house. In any event, you can see it has board holes in the scales or the body of the knife, and it has thumb studs on both sides. It also has a pretty good pocket clip. The pocket clip can go either on the right side or the left side of the knife, but um, other YouTubers have criticized the knife for not allowing you to put it with the tip up. So maybe for safety's sake, they designed it this way. In any event, here's uh, what the knife looks like when you open it. It has a little flipper, the flipper here, this knife was designed by Harold Kit Carson. Since it's the first time I've opened it, it's not quite loosened up yet. It has a liner lock, if you can see inside there. The liner lock moves to block the, down, the inward rotation of the blade, and to close it, all you have to do is push the actual frame out of the way and then close it, keeping your fingers well away from the blade. So let me try flipping it open again, see if it works better this time. Okay, it's getting there. Um, the blade also has nice, uh, what's called jimping. Jimping is Little scores on the back of the blade there. And the blade is printed CRKT on one side. On the other side, it's also marked M16-01S. Carson Design. I believe I read that the, line, the uh, blade is 3.09 inches long. Um, you need to check your local laws and see if this blade could get you into trouble with authorities. Some places are some states have pretty liberal laws, generally found in the South, the Mountain West, or the Midwest. And uh, the farther you go toward Canada, we'll say, especially the maritime provinces toward the Northeast of the United States, the more restrictive their laws are. So I haven't tried cutting anything with it. Let's see what it does to this little advertisement over here.
darn good. I strongly recommend to people that they carry a knife with them at all times because you never know when they're going to be necessary to help you out. So again, this is the CRKT M1601S. Um, prices are all over the map. Um, I think their list price is like $40, but I actually found this on a Christmas promotion for literally less than $14, not counting shipping. So I think I paid like $13.25 for it. So um, if you have any comments on this, you're welcome to leave them at the bottom. If you have any notes, if you have this knife and you like it, if you don't have this knife and you want it, again, you can find it a lot of different places on the web. You can find it at Amazon, you can find it at uh, Knife Headquarters, Knife Depot, Blade HQ, all sorts of different places. So I paid for this with my own money. I'm not taking any money to promote it in any way. So I just thought I'd share that impression with you. Okay, have a nice day. Maybe we'll talk again later. Bye-bye.